Chris, another strong performance for you today from the field. 16 points, 6 of 12. What allowed you to be so successful, especially in that mid-range game today? Uh, really just trying to attack and be aggressive. So just kind of keeping that mindset uh, throughout the entire game and not letting up. You got off to a little bit of a slow start in that first quarter, but you and Lauren were able to mm -hmm. really pick it up. Uh, do you feel any um, additional pressure? How nice is it that you guys have those four or five options on the court at all times that can yeah. score? Uh, you know, I really like that's really what I love about our team is the fact that we have a lot of different players who can step up at any given moment. So I think that makes us that much harder to guard because when one of us is having a slower night, there's three other people that can pick up the slack. Lauren, what's it like for you especially to be back with the team this year after not being able to play last year and having to sit out? Is it really nice to be back with your teammates back on the court and today probably your best game of the year, 18.7 rebounds? Yeah, it's a lot better being on the floor instead of the bench. Last year was pretty hard for me just having to sit and watch. Um, but I think that I've been adjusting pretty well, and I have a pretty great team around me, so that helps me look good. It seems at least like from the outside that your shot has got, you're getting a little more comfortable and back to what we saw from your shot a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Has it been a process to kind of get back feeling good, and is this as good as you felt with that? Yeah, um, I mean, good. Uh, I would say I'm a pretty good shooter. It just takes getting back into game rhythm. Um, it's one thing to be shooting around by yourself, but it's another thing when there's defense in front of you. Um, so as the games go on, I think I've gotten a little better. Lauren, this, this team's struggled a little bit at the free throw line this year, but you're 10-11 today, and, and you were 4-4 at the line. How important are free throws um, you know, down the stretch of these games, especially going into Big Ten play? Free throws are huge. Um, those, at the end of the day, can make or break a game. We also fo focus on a lot of the little things where there's turnovers, um, free throws, things like that. So if we can fix the little things, the big things, we can usually make up for